Good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day it is for you. Welcome to Of Course Online, and I want to welcome you to the Spinal Isolation Restriction and Rehabilitation course. If we look at what people are doing every single day, the movements that they require their bodies to do, or the movements that they just hold their bodies in for hours and hours on end, I think we can pretty much conclude that our spines are in a little bit of trouble. So our responsibility as movement professionals is to assist our community and the people that come to us in looking after their spine for longevity. So we often expect a lot from the clients and with that we want to fine tune the cues that we give them in order to get them to move efficiently in their spine. We want them to take care of their spine. In fact, if we can instill this in our children from the age of five, that would be ideal. What is a good posture? What is a neutral spine? Is everybody's neutral spine the same? Can I put this person into neutral pelvis? They've had a spinal fusion. Is neutral pelvis ideal for them? What is going on inside? What, what is this? And what are these? And what are these? And how are they going to respond in this movement I'm doing? So briefly looking at the muscles, we're going to look at the erector spinae. You can see them over here. So when will the QL spasm? The QL can spasm either in its lengthened position or in its shortened position. So what are the hip flexors? We've got iliopsoas, which is, ili uh, which is psoas and iliacus. We've got adductor longus, magnus, brevis, pectineus, sartorius, tensor fasciolata, rectus femoris. All of those assist us with hip flexion. So it says there, a posterior bulging disc. And gently back. So she's in neutral. She could do a little bit of rotation that way. That would be all right. And bring it back to the center and bringing it back up. So there her spine is working. It's stabilizing. We've got those rotatories. We've got the multifidus. We've got a little bit of spinalis. And then the bigger back extensors will start working the more load I give her and the lower she goes. But they're also holding on a little bit. Right. So we go over to an anterior bulging disc. It says here, when is enough enough? And this is the important part. So how much mobility do you want your client to do? And how much isolation do you want your client to do? So while we're sitting there, I want you to give me a little drop back of your spine. So you're just going to tuck slightly. And you're going to keep that small tuck. Inhale there for me. Exhale, press that ball into your chest and just extend your spine up to the ceiling as you press the ball. So we're going to encourage lumbar flexion and we're going to encourage the lower rectus abdominis to pull the pelvis through. And we're going to ask the upper back to just stay normal. Hold that inhale. <laughs> right, so maintain. Inhale there. And exhale gently, relaxing over the foam roller. You see how natural that is for her and how unnatural that is for her? This is for a posterior tilter that is not used to working lumbar back extensors or hip flexors. So what you're going to do is you're going to dig your knees into the ball. And as you do that, I want you to stick your bum out to the ceiling. Yes, exactly. What are these muscles? They are the longus collie and the longus capitis, and you can see them now. Remember that when it comes to the spine, rather safe than sorry should be the order of the day. Please let us know if you need any assistance with anything. Remember, isolation is important for relaxation and mobility is important for that stress relief. But to isolate upper and lower, we only do it for certain exercises and we don't keep doing it long term because then you can actually hurt the spine. But it's, re it's a good movement to actually teach people that isolation and what thoracic back extension should feel like. So I think you feel amped to go and grab all of those clients that definitely have those injuries and you're going to be like, I'm definitely going to work out the most amazing program for them and on Monday they're not going to know what's hit them because I'm going to give them so much information and I'm going to teach them how to look after their spine long term for a fantastic longevity. Thank you so much Steph and thank you Margot and we hope to see you soon. Take care.